Yo, what's going on guys? With me doing the badge video and the tendency video and just sharing my knowledge in general, I wanted to actually do a tier list and today's tier list is finishing. So what I'm planning to do is just kind of space them out. Every day I'll do one. So this channel will have actually something on it before I get to the next series that I'm kind of setting up right now. And keep in mind, these tier lists are designed for online play, not necessarily offline and doing my league and that sort of stuff. Although I will bring that up when talking about the badge. So tier list day one, finishing. So first badge we have is Acrobat. Now, Acrobat. I, if I'm being completely honest, it doesn't change the outcome of a lot of layups. Uh, 2K online, you're either going to make it or you miss it, man. Uh, there's only very few badges that will actually change whether you make the shot or not. Acrobat doesn't give you any new animations. They just kind of raise and lower the percentage. So, Acrobat's kind of a hard one to just throw in there straight up from being honest but i'll put it in a just because a lot of people get it it's probably one of the most used badges as far as finishing goes and the next badge we're going to do is consistent finisher so consistent finisher this badge only really helps you if you're bad at timing layups or if you like to do a bunch of double clutch layups it's not really needed or necessary honestly i'm just going to put it in the c uh it has its use but it's not really good and then we have contact finisher, which is not really a debate. That's going straight into S. It's always the first finishing badge you should get on basically any build, even if you're not going to contact dunk on anybody, even if you're not even good at dunking at all. I have characters who cannot dunk. I've purposely given them 25 driving dunk and they only do layups. And I still get contact finisher. Basically, every time you go to the basket, you're going to have some sort of contact in this game. So being able to finish with contact is very needed. Next we have deep hooks. So because this badge is only really good on bigs, um, guards can do hooks, but at a certain height and a certain wingspan, they start to be uh, not a good idea. So because it's such a niche badge, I am going to put it in D. I think with post fades, which is a shooting badge, completely different thing. Uh, I would rate that one a little higher just because you get more use out of it. But post hooks are pretty decent this year. I just don't see it as a badge that you're really going to value over others. I'm going to kind of do this randomly now. Uh, Slithery Finisher. This one's pretty good. I feel like it's kind of in between S and A. If I could put it right here, I'd do it. But I'm going to go ahead and put it in A just because I feel like Contact Finisher is better. And if they're in the same tier, it doesn't really seem fair. But if I could, I would put it right here in between. Now, Cross Key Score. It's another one of those niche badges, except people don't really use this one. <laughs> I really doesn't have much use. The shots that it wants you to take in the game aren't really shots that 2K really allows to go in. So it's gonna find its way in D. Now, Drop Stepper, this is an interesting one. If they had it, I would put in between B and C here. The only reason being is because it is better than Consistent Finisher. Although it is a niche badge for post scores, Drop Stepping is one of the best post moves to do. So I'm going to put it in B just because it's clearly better than Consistent Finisher, but if I could, it would be right in between. Then we're gonna move on to Fancy Footwork, which is going to be a B tier. Um, it's not as good as Acrobat or Flittery Finisher at all, but it is a badge that you do consider getting. Hop steps are really prevalent uh, in the game this year. They're very good. Euros don't tend to really go in that much, but having that hop step option is really good this year going to the basket. Now, Giant Slayer. Honestly, man, I'm putting this A, and I might even put it S. Ah. <sighs> I'm gonna go A. The only reason I'm not gonna go S is because Contact Finisher affects literally everybody. Everybody wants this badge, whereas Giant Slayer, if you're seven foot tall, you should probably not get it, um, but it gives you a completely different set of animations, and it does kinda work with bots more than actual players, but because of these fast little slippery animations, a lot of people don't have the reaction time to break out and block it before you're, uh, the ball's running in. Now, Fast Break Finisher, uh, this has gotta go D, man. I mean, it only really boosts your takeover meter, and a lot of people don't really care about the takeover meter. It's not really a strategy to just get a bunch of badges that boost your takeover meter so that you're hot all the time. Although that would be kind of interesting. Um, it doesn't really work out very well. Next is Lob City Finisher, which I'm going to put into C because uh, it's not really as good as these badges. It has its place. Although if you're a good dunker, you really don't need it. Rather just pick Contact Finisher. That'll do enough for your lobs. Next is Pro Touch, which... Uh, a lot of people like, but I'm actually going to put this in C because I, I've played a lot of this game and I have not noticed a single time where I shot a layup and it was an animation that I knew usually misses, almost always misses, and then Pro Touch made it go in. I've never had that situation uh, and I usually get really good releases on my layups. I know basically all the animations in the game. I just understand what that looks like. So Pro Touch has never really did anything for me, although I know statistically it does something, but online sliders are pretty crazy. 2K really doesn't want you making layups. You shouldn't. 
So any of those animations where you know you're going to miss, it's not going to change it. Um, but I do believe it has a place somewhere. Now, put back boss. Ooh, man. Uh, I would put this in between C and D if I could. Um, it's not as useless as cross key score or fast break finisher. I guess I'll put it in the C because of that. Although, kind of like Pro Touch, if you're in a situation where you just got the offensive rebound, you go right back up. Some animations are just not going to go in. And a lot of standing layups, standing dunks do not go in in 2K. This is how they have the sliders for online. Those shots don't normally go in. Here, dropper as well. I don't think it's completely useless as it does affect some of your layups. Floaters online are typically very, very slow. You can't really get them off before you get beat or your character takes another three steps to the basket and then you might as well just took a layup at that point. They're really easy to get blocked and not be a foul. It's not really much reason to do them. Bots can pull them off pretty well because they just do the perfect floater in the perfect situation. But for online play, it is a badge that will help you, but it's not something that I would really consider getting. Now, Relentless Finisher, I would put into B. All that Relentless Finisher does is just make you lose less stamina when you go to the basket, which is pretty good for a lot of your builds that are slashers if you want to continue to dunk on people and not just be tired overall. So Showtime. Showtime's another badge where you get takeover meter if you do a big dunk or any top play like that. It's going to fall into D pretty easily. Just because you get a takeover meter does not mean it's worth. It doesn't actually help you make shots. Now this one, I guess they didn't have the logo for this one. This is actually pick and roller, which I will put in to see a lot of these badges are kind of they do something that will help you for these niche kind of play styles but is it so good of a badge to where you're going to have to use it you're going to want it not really if you set picks a lot and you roll a lot then sure you might want to pick it up see how well it does for you but a lot of the time as long as you have these top badges you really don't need pick and roller to make those shots on the roll and you have to keep in mind that you have to set picks and you have to roll to the basket to even make use of this badge if you're not playing like that almost every play it's not worth getting that was the finishing badges that's actually that wasn't too bad. Though I am planning to do all of the types of badges, the finishing, the shooting, the whatnot. Uh, I think I'm just gonna upload one a day, see how that goes, just so this channel kind of has consistent content. So I am planning on doing the other tier lists for the shooting badges, the playmaking and the defending. But uh, I think I'm gonna upload those probably once a day and just go from there so there's always something to watch on this channel. Now I do have another series I've been thinking about doing that I will show a little bit later, maybe in a couple days, week or so. Till then, you can follow me on my Twitch, subscribe. I'm going to be trying to explain everything about this game, try to make you guys better, use my knowledge, and share that with you guys so that when you play online and you play my league or you do anything in this game, that you can have more fun with it and do what you actually want to do. Now get out of here.